What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. You will see before you our hastily completed castle. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it's one of those places that we could be very, very comfortable in, aside from the grassy floor and so forth. But it did drop down to the ground once we finished it off, and that leaves us with a new task. So what we're going to do today, we're going to plan out the next phase of our base. We're not going to start building it just because it's going to be a lot of log chopping, and I feel like we already did enough of that in the previous episode. However, it's nice to have it planned out, so let's go ahead and start with it. And what I want to do is we're going to go to our custom building menu. That's what we want. In our custom building menu, we're going to go to defensive walls. And those are walls that just can't kind of get through a conversation without getting irritated. They get way too defensive about even the simplest subjects. So there's the joke, but um, tis... We all laugh, we have a good time, we die slightly inside, and then we place the wall right there. And I find it's best to like plan your base out like so. Just get all of the frameworks in place before you do anything else. Otherwise, you spend a lot of time putting down... I hear bad guys. Yeah, get the hell out of here. You don't want none. I set my house on fire. Please don't burn down, lovely house. Okay, good. Our house didn't burn down. We are like the god of fire right now. Not Poseidon. I forget the name of the god of fire. But he was pretty scary. He had like a hammer and a forge or something. And so having murdered all these guys, where are they? I want to coat myself in mud again. Where are they? Did the bodies vanish? Ah, well. Or were they further back than I thought they were? Oh, they were further back. Okay. What you can do, if you're a sick puppy, is you can chop these dudes up. And be careful about that right there. You see how it launched me up in the air when it did that? That can kill you a lot of the time. And so for a lot of people, it's probably not going to be worth it to build effigies. I don't really know how to do this with any sort of efficiency without killing yourself. And so, I think I'm just going to avoid it for right now, but what I will do is let's start building effigies, too. So, if we go to this menu down here at the bottom, there will be one called effigies. And we can do a simple one, or we can do a large one. The large one is quite a bit more impressive. I mean, it definitely shows off your sociopathic tendencies a bit better than the smaller one. However, in this case, we're just going to stick with what works. We're going to go with the small one. I'm not sure that I could sleep with this thing outside my house, though. A little bit terrifying. Let me see if I can get it rotated the way that I want. That seems about right. That seems okay. And then what we need to do is we need to run around and find the body parts that we need, considering they just flew all over the place. Yeah, be careful. You see how that hurt me right there? How I lost a little bit of health? Sometimes when you chop up bodies, it hurts you. I don't know why. It's a bug that's in the game right now, but be very, very careful about it because it'll get you. It'll get you. And then you'll be like, oh, damn it. That sucks. Now I am no longer in one piece, and my game is over because I cannot save. Pick up this leg over here. There we go. So we've got enough legs on the effigy now. What I really think we need is an arm. Oh no, we've got a head now. Okay, so we're using a severed human head. Oh, two severed human heads. Even better. Even better. We should probably find something to eat as well. We need to go hunting. I'm running out of supplies, and so I'm thinking we got to make a little bit of a run out to go murder something. Go kill some animals. Kind of make up the deficit by removing the lives of Komodo dragons, I think. And so we have all the heads on there. We just need to find some arms. We should have like four to six arms if we can locate them. It's just sometimes... We've picked up another severed head that's in our backpack. That's pleasant. I don't think anybody's going to want to hang out with us on the playground if we keep putting heads and stuff inside of our bag. You can combine a head with something? Dear God. All right, well, I don't want to know what you'll be able to craft out of a head, but I'm not going to think about it too hard. I'm not trying to be punny or anything, just saying. I don't even think that counts as a pun. That was pretty clumsy if it counts as a pun. I'm going to be honest. It's pretty clumsy. There's an arm. All right, give me a hand with this. Come over here. Yeah, my first effigy, an art project by Splattercat. We'll drop this arm on the ground right there, just leave it out in front of the house, and that should help scare them off in the future. Oh, look, the little bird enjoys our effigy. He likes it. It's a great little perch. And so this should teach them to go the hell away and not bother us any further. The next thing that I want to do is think about putting in a fireplace. But let's go hunting first. got to get ourselves some food. We're going to starve to death if I don't do this. And so... 
we also need to... Oh, we're all bathed now. I think it's because it rained. But anyways, we're going to grab some of these sticks from around here. There are some logs lined up. I need to remember that, that there's logs laying around over here. I think if we can find a fishing pond, that might be our best excuse. Be careful about those logs. They will kill you. Don't walk over logs if you can help it. So, if you've got anything woody underneath your feet, you should be feeling far more terrorized than you would in the real lives. Bunch of logs laying around down here. Now, the nice thing about killing that patrol is that I don't think they'll come back. I think once we've killed them, they're actually gone for good, and so it's one less thing that we have to worry about. That may, in fact, have been the patrol that have been bothering us the entire time. I think the last time I looked, it was two males and a female. So, I think these are okay. Yeah, the orange ones are okay. So the orange ones and the brown ones are alright. You can eat the orange and the brown mushrooms, take my word for it, but the red ones, I think the red ones are deadly. You definitely don't want to eat the red ones. Now, I have no idea how the respawning works in this game. I have no clue if your resources actually respawn, or if you're on sort of a limited timer in that, like, animals and things don't come back. We maxed out on sticks and rocks and things? Okay. Grab a few more rocks so that if I have to do any construction projects in the future, some caveman construction... We'll have the things that we need. I'm going to wade through the brush down here. And there tends to be either mushrooms, blackberries, or critters down in here. And if we can find them and we can spear them, we will make them into a delicious, lovely dinner. I mean, I think we've got to kill a lot of little things in order to feed ourselves well. But there might also be a pond if we're really, really lucky. Is this a mud pit? What is this down here? Like a mud wallow? No, it's not a mud wall. It feels kind of solid underneath our feet. I wonder if it's top of a cave system or something. I don't know. There's good loot in the caves is what people keep telling me, but I've never seen a cave other than the one that they take you to after they murder you. So, well, I guess they didn't do a very good job of murder. They don't murder you after they bludgeon you a few times just to soften you up for later. But anyways, I think that... Let me keep an eye on the lake right now because I feel like I'm getting myself deoriented. Er, de I feel like I'm getting myself disoriented and I don't want to end up on the wrong side of the tracks here in the middle of the night running from enemies and also starving to death because that is just far too many problems. That is taking one problem and compounding it on top of the other and so instead of like a simple problem like one Lego brick you're stepping on, you're actually stepping on like eight Lego bricks simultaneously. And while that metaphor doesn't really work because the more you attach together the more smooth surfaces they have, I'm still going to go for it. I don't think you can chop down their effigies. They do build these, by the way. These aren't necessarily in the game when you first start out. When they walk around, they will deploy them in areas of interest. So once they find your base, you'll start waking up in the morning to find effigies put outside your base. Essentially, they just mess with you. They play a psychological game with you to try and terrify you. Well, seeing as we're low on food... Ooh, a pond. Well, I see a spear sticking up, so I assume there's a pond. Let's see if we can't fish anything out of here. Just take a brief moment and see if there's anything slithering through the water down here. A lot of the ponds are empty, so they're not, they're not really the greatest source of sustenance, but occasionally you'll find a pond that has some fish in it. I can't really tell you... I guess you would just have to memorize them. Like, eventually on the map you would just run around and you would know where the ponds are that have fish versus the ones that don't have fish. I think I raided all this already, but we'll try and get some emergency food out of some of these travel cases. I don't know if that counts as music or what. The pills that we're picking up right now are good for healing in case you... in case I forgot to mention it at some point I guess is the way that I'll cover my ass right now. It may have been one of those things that I forgot to explain but if you can find pills you can heal using them. I think those are the right color. Those mushrooms are really not that filling for how large they are. That's like a basketball sized mushroom. I think I left actually now that I'm pondering it, I'm almost positive that I left one of the... Oh, there we go. We'll kill you off. And you, Bunny, come here. I don't mean you any harm. I come in peace, Bunny. There we go. And so now we've murdered a Bunny. Everything's looking up for us. I think I left a meal. Yeah, there it is right there. And so we ate one of the travel meals or one of the tray meals up off the back. A little bit dark right now, having trouble seeing, so I apologize if you're having trouble as well. This would be one of those situations in which I would definitely recommend resting. So let's head back to base, and once we arrive back at our base camp, I think we're going to be in a pretty good situation 
to rest the night away, and then we will figure out what we want to do with our next little grip of time. Grab some of those leaves, though, while I'm over here. Yeah, see, that effigy was not there before. They're planting them all around the lake because they're getting a feel for where we're at. Essentially, I think the game uses some kind of tracking mechanism where it's going to be implemented later on, but basically I think they hunt you almost, and anytime they find your trail or anything like that, they put one of those effigies down, and that's how they communicate with one another. We did kill off that group, so it might be worthwhile to go and look for their camp and see if there's anything useful in their little primitive camp or whatever, but for now, I'm feeling a little bit terrified by the prospects, so I'm going to not do that. Let's make a campfire. Oh, we'll go to sleep first. Let's go ahead and crash for the night. We've got full energy, so it's a little bit of a waste. I'm mostly resting right now to... Oh, yeah, we still can't loot the bunny. Well, damn. All right, well, let's go ahead and get our sleep on. And so we're all good. Our stomach's still full. We're still feeling all right. Let's plan out the remainder of this wall, but before I do that, I've got to kill off these smaller trees. So let's go ahead and commit a bit more natural murder, because that's what we're good at. I mean, we showed up here... And we are paving paradise to put in a parking lot. God, that is a lot of peas. That was a huge amount of alliteration. That was alliteration times four, if you were keeping count. And I love alliteration. I don't know what it is about being alliterative. Just using the same consonant over and over and over again, but it pleases me. And every time I hear that sound right there, I think somebody's loading a gun. Like they're cocking a firearm at me. I hate that noise when the trees fall over. I may put a fire inside my house... I don't know if that's the wisest idea yet, because I don't know how flammability works, or inflammability works. I... so I'm honestly... I balk a little bit at some of the things that I would like to do. We're going to do a custom building right now. We're going to continue along. These should snap together, in most cases. But sometimes the snap together does not work very well. And so you've got to do it manually. I'm going to make like a little side yard right here that I can plant a garden in or something. Because you can do that. I don't know if the... not really sure if the mechanic is implemented as of right now. But I'd like to think that it is. And now, I don't know if I'm going to do this on camera or off camera as I craft all this. I'm not totally sure what you guys are interested in seeing. There we go right there. If you're having trouble placing your buildings, you'll get used to it after a while. Just practice a little bit. You'll get like an eye for it. The first couple times I started playing the game, I had a lot of trouble getting the walls in where I wanted them to. And then after a little bit, I appear to have figured the process out with some... Well, I've made the process more cogent. That's about the best that I can say about it. I mean, I've gotten a little bit better at it. This is going to take a ton of logs. In fact, this might take nearly as many logs to complete as it took us to just make the cabin. But I'll get the layout done first. And once we've got the layout all nice and magically done... We'll figure out what other things are here. And sometimes, see like right there, the snap-in doesn't always work. So you may have to place things manually here and there. I think this is where... I could install a door if I was feeling particularly badass right now and crafty. I thought I heard footsteps, but it might just be my own. Why worry about it? Let's just take risks with our life, right? It's not like it's the only one we have. We'll put in a wall with a door. Oh, that puts a hole. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. Although I would actually prefer for that to rotate a little bit. It's kind of facing weird. Oh, well. Not going to concern myself much more. Thought I saw cannibals off in the distance. You'll forgive me as I pause and stare off into the distance. Just like, hmm, something is in the distance. It is coming for us. Hmm. I make grunting noises. Being around these cannibals... I don't know. It's rubbing off on me. I can rapidly feel my already minuscule education beginning to dwindle. Come on. Snap into place. You know you want to. No. No. Well, that'll sort of work. It's kind of weird looking, but whatever. And I think this will probably be like the last thing we do. Oh, I screwed up. Hopefully nobody can fit through that. Otherwise, that might have been a pretty large screw-up for me. Oh, well. This is probably the last thing we're going to finish on this episode anyways. We're going to lay in all of these defensive walls. And once our base is defensible, we'll break this thing off. I will chop up some trees. 
and then you will come back to a beautifully designed base. Now I'm going to put a couple of effigies outside the door as well, even though I am quite frankly horrified at the prospect of chopping up human beings. I love it when I get to do a straight line, it's so much quicker. Anytime I get to do a straight line, it's just like, hooray, my construction doesn't take quite as long. There we- hold on, hey, hey. I will this to happen, and so you will make this occur. Otherwise, we will all be unhappy together forever. And I may have actually made a problem for myself right here. Yeah. It's trying to double snap in right now. I think that does leave us with a gap in the wall, though. I, I wish you could put in single logs. Because now... I've got to figure out a way to make this work. Wow, that is snapped in. That does not want to come out of the snap-in. Basically, I just need to plug the hole. There we go. Awesome. And so it looks ugly, but it'll work for now. I have no idea how many logs this is going to take. It takes six per. So the six per wall section, my guess is that it's going to take a really, really long amount of time. I don't really know if you guys want to bear witness to such a long project. But I'm going to break this episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the Nerd Castle for another episode of The Forest. A delightfully fun little game, if not tremendously buggy. I'm still having a blast with it, though, and I plan on playing it a lot over the coming couple days. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Not sure how much of this construction I'm going to do on my own. I'll probably do some of it on camera, some of it off. We'll do. I think I'm going to try and do most of the foraging on camera, and then most of the building off. But if there's, I mean, I'm recording these all in advance, so there's going to be like 10 of these all recorded at the exact same time. I'll probably split it up a little bit so the people that want to see building can see a little bit of building, and the people that want to see exploration can see a little bit of exploration. I'll see everyone in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi do. If you're new to the Nerd Castle and you're running about the hi do reference, I will tell you that you should watch the Craft of the World LP on my channel, and then you will be in on the joke, and you're, you will be an official NCE member once you understand the hi do joke. I'll see you all there.